morning. It's bright and early. It's about 8 o'clock. And I, you guys are like so curious to see what I eat in a day. I used to do these all the time, but when I switched over to a vegetarian diet, I kind of stopped and I don't know why. So uh, today I'm going to show you what I typically eat for breakfast, snacks, lunch, and dinner, all of the things. So yeah, hope you guys get some good insult and get some good ideas. And let's get breakfast because I'm starving. So first thing I do is fill up my water bottle. I have some lemon and mint in there and I drink this first thing in the morning and then I fill this up like eight more times throughout the day. So this has been such a game changer and we are so happy that we have this. The New Air Magic Chef bottom loading water dispenser and it has hot and cold. So what it means by like bottom loading water dispenser is that the water container is actually underneath it instead of on top because I feel like on top just looks so tacky so I love that they give you the option to have a bottom loading water dispenser I've never seen that before except for on new air so that was such a feature that I definitely wanted and was looking for and they had it and to change these out is so easy there's like a mini little ramp you just pull the water dispenser out and you just pull this cap off and it has a tube that goes through the water there's a tube right there and that loads the water up into the canisters that are inside here. So you can have ice cold water or hot water. There's actually buttons in the back that start and stop the cold or start and stop the hot. So that's a really good safety feature, especially for kids and you don't want them just like coming up and like burning their hands. So that was another option that we were looking for. It also has light indicators here. So it shows you when it's on, when it's hot, when it's cold, or when the water needs to be changed out. So yeah, I just had to share with you guys because this is like the newest addition to the kitchen. I've already had a few questions on it. It goes really well with some of the appliances and just like looks really good in the kitchen so if you guys are on the hunt for a water dispenser and you want to get a really nice good sleek good looking one that's gonna look good in your kitchen with the bottom loading dispenser then definitely check this out and give it a go there's awesome reviews and I will have the link in the description so check it out we have been loving that for the past like I don't know, month or so I think is when we got it but yeah, first thing I do in the morning is fill up my water. And this morning I have lemon and mint leaves. I always, always have lemon, but just occasionally I have mint in my water. And really the only reason why I have it today is because I made a recipe with mint leaves in it. So I had some extra ones, so I just threw it in there. But it's really good. It gives it like a nice extra flavor. This is my teamy tumbler. And this thing is awesome. I've been using this and taking this with me pretty much everywhere for the longest time now. And I love that it's pink. There's honestly like a lot of different features about this. It's really cool. So it has the teamy logo on the front, which I think is so cute. There's also a little handle right here so you can easily carry it, which is handy. And then it has the snap closure, which is nice because it keeps your drink like leak free and also just like keeps nasty things out of there. And then if you twist this off, there's actually a strainer in here, which is nice because you can put whatever you want to in here. This is obviously like meant for tea, but you can put whatever fruits or lemon or leaves, whatever you want in here. And I like this for my lemon water especially because the lemon seeds don't get through like nothing gets through And then on the bottom there's actually a twist off secret little compartment So that twists off and you can put whatever you want in here. It's honestly like a really good size So yeah, this has been awesome definitely one of the better tumblers that I've used and there's just like a lot of cool features Especially the strainer so it just like works awesome for lemon water I don't really drink anything else besides lemon water or tea and coffee, which I'm going to get next right now so this is our cold coffee brewer. Um, this is like recently new. I think Paul picked it up on the Amazon Prime Day sale. But this is glass and it's a pitcher and it is a cold coffee brewer. So up here in the middle, it's not in there now because we're done brewing it. We brewed it last night, but there's a filter that goes down and you put it in the fridge with the water and you let it brew for 24 hours. And voila, you have cold, fresh coffee. So, Paul was a sweetheart and went and bought and cut up one of my favorite fruits for both of us. So, I'm going to munch on some cantaloupe and then I'm going to get some things ready to make a really thick, good smoothie bowl. So, I like my smoothies extra thick, kind of like an acai bowl, but in a smoothie bowl. And I like to add toppings in it so I get them extra thick. I'll show you how I do it. So, I love the Berry Melody Mix. I do this for almost all of my <laughs> smoothies because it's a good way to get all your antioxidants in and just like makes it taste so good. Berries to me are like the most most powerful fruit to put in your smoothie. They like over taste some of the other stuff you may be putting in that might not be as tasty. So I like that. And then I love adding this wheatgrass in here. As some of you may know, I have had like the worst digestive issues the past like eight months. So this wheatgrass 
it's a juice powder that you can put into your smoothie and it helps with your digestion or helps to like aid in digestion helps to boost your immune system helps your metabolism like all the good things so I always put one scoop of this into a smoothie you can also put it into a juice this is from opportunities it's their wheatgrass I also have their MCT oil I love their supplements they are USDA organic they are affordable they are clean they're cruelty free looks like all of the things so I love the sweet grass I put it in all of my smoothies I highly recommend it it's just a good way to get like your nutrients in and it helps with digestion like a thousand percent so that in itself is just so worth it to me so I will leave this link down below definitely try it out and give it a go it's so easy to just add a scoop into your smoothie you don't even taste it but you get all the benefits then I always add in ground flaxseed this is really good to get all your omega-3s in and it kind of like thickens up the base a little bit then my favorite protein of life Paul and I really we both love this Vega protein. We've used it for years. The vanilla is my favorite, but they have so many other flavors. And you just put a scoop of this in, you get 20 grams of protein, and you also get your servings of greens. So I love this stuff. It's plant-based, it's healthy, it's clean, and it is pretty affordable. And then I also have used this milk for forever. It's the Silk 10 grams of protein. So all this together is what I use to make my smoothie bowl. So I'm gonna make it, and I will see you guys in a few seconds. It's like just the right consistency. And oh, look at that, it looks so good. So, for toppings, I love to do blueberries. I already like rinsed some and have some there waiting. And then I love this energy granola from Cliff. It's a white chocolate macadamia nut, and it is so good. This is like my fifth bag. Okay, and here is my smoothie bowl. So good. I cannot wait to eat this. Crunchy and creamy, smooth. It's very fruity and you get little blueberries on top. It's so good. Definitely try this. And I'm gonna go eat the rest of my breakfast now. Okay, this bread does not last long around here. It is so good and one of our favorites. It's from Costco, so if you have a Costco near you, definitely try to look for this. It's butter, cinnamon, sugar bread. Three loaves of these for like $10 and it is so good. You can do so much with this, but we just like cut it up and eat it like any time of the day. So I'm definitely getting a piece of this. So I decided I was tired of being inside all day when it was such a beautiful day outside. So I took my work outside to the pool and it was just like beautiful. I just like soaked up the sun, but you know I needed some snacks. So I actually brought quite a lot along with a huge tumbler of lemon water. I also brought up there a iced coffee, which didn't even like stay cold. I don't know why I even put it in that bottle. But anyways, yeah, um, I love those frappuccinos. The vanilla ones are so good. I love dried fruits, so I love these apricots, and I also love these dates. And I like to kind of like snack on them individually, but sometimes I'll make my own little trail mix, and I will mix it in with some kind of nuts. So right now I have walnuts and I have almonds, and I just kind of put them together in this little Tupperware. And sometimes I will like mix the dried fruit in with the nuts, or sometimes I will just like eat them and snack on them individually. But I like doing that because it's a quick and easy, healthy-ish and filling snack and then if I have a sweet tooth which I normally always do I love these oh snap crispy protein bars I have it in the caramel pretzel flavor they're so good they're protein filled they're healthy they're clean I love the caramel pretzel and I love the vanilla marshmallow flavor they're so good and like the perfect little protein snack any time of day or post or pre-workout Okay, so I'm back from the pool. I'm still like a hot, sweaty mess, but I'm so hungry, so I just like poured myself some more water, and I'm gonna just do something really quick for lunch. So last night for dinner, we actually like doubled up on our portions to have lunch for today. So last night we made like four patties, and we both had one, so we both had the other two for lunch today. Paul took his to work, and then I'm gonna make mine right now. And he actually like put it all together for me. He's so sweet, so I will get that, and I will show you now. Okay, so if you watched our night routine and you saw our grocery haul, you saw that we got these chicken crispy meatless patties that we love. We have them all the time. And then Paul went and grabbed buns from the grocery store, but instead of getting big buns, he got little like mini Hawaiian rolls. So we just like went with it and made it work, and we just like cut them up into a little like Paul called them sub looking buns. So. And then this cheese is actually this Sargentino Four Cheese Southwest Slices. And I'm going to put some honey mustard on it too because I love me some honey mustard. And these are the buns that we use. We love these kind, the sweet Hawaiian rolls. They are so good. And there's something about dill pickles. 
Like I can never do the butter pickles, but I love dill pickles and I can eat these all day long. They are so good. I added some organic baby carrots, a side of ranch to dip them in. Now I'm gonna sit down, answer some emails, catch up on DMs, and get some work done. So it's about four o'clock and I just made a little snack plate because I'm getting hungry, but it's not just time for dinner yet. So I have these vegetarian grape leaves, which are these right here, so good. Garlic hummus, non dippers, these little pretzel crisps, which are these. They're garlic parm, so good. Here's the hummus, here's the non dippers. And what else? Um, yellow pepper. And then this is a little dish that I made with cottage cheese, onion, cucumber, mint leaves, and salt. So I am eating the rest of that. And yeah, this is my little snacky plate before dinner. So these are the Gardein Teriyaki Chicky Strips. They like cook up so nice. The sauce is so good. Tastes just like chicky. We both like love it. It's our like third or fourth time, probably fifth time making these. They're really good. This is a pasta dish that we have often. We have a couple different flavors that we like to have. This is the cheddar broccoli, so good. And then we made some asparagus because Polly really wanted some asparagus. So tonight's dinner, we are both starving and we are going to devour. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. We are holding that huge 100,000 subscriber giveaway. Once we reach there, you guys definitely don't want to miss out on it. So hit that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss one of my videos. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow or the next day in a brand new video. Bye.